we made it. So it's been a few days and um, it's all because I had my phone still. Without an ID and with Elaine's phone as a camera, I'm coming down here to try to get this thing done. It's just been hard to keep a smile on your face. Good morning. Good morning. We had a interesting night at the hotel. <laughs> we slept from like 3 p.m. till 6 p.m., had dinner. All right, so that was a cute five hour nap. <laughs> then we're ready to go put something in our tummies. Right, we're going out to find dinner. So uh, let's see what they have down here to offer. Slept again from 9 p.m. till 3 a.m. Then watched some like Netflix and shows. And then went back to sleep again till 9 a.m. this morning. We got up and had free breakfast this morning at the hotel. And without even going outside, we're already at the underground train station. From here, we take a couple of trains. So hopefully it goes by quickly. It's a nice 60 something degrees outside today. So cool and we're enjoying it. Getting around the UK is always fun. The underground is actually the overground. We need the Elizabeth line. It turns out that's on the arrivals level, not underground where we thought it would be. That's only the Piccadilly line. So, here we go. So, we took our first train on the Elizabeth line. It was about 11 stops. Yeah, it's the newest line and it's one of our favorites. It's very comfortable, it has nice cold AC. Now we're waiting here at the Farrington Station. We're gonna get on our second train and our last train. So we go like what, three stops to our next uh, to Stevenage, which is our final destination. And then I think we take a bus or a walk or Uber or something from there. Okay, we are here at Watton at Stone. This is the train station. It's not much of a station. It's a brick wall with some stairs and a little hut that no one's servicing on this lovely Friday. Looking for a driver. So we are at such a small station that we can't find an Uber or a, now we're trying Bolt. They said maybe Bolt would work um, to get to our house sit. If not, we'll take the train back to a bigger city and then go from there. So right now, we're just playing that travel game. We'll see what happens. We made it. We are officially in our first house sit here in England. It has been wonderfully cool, overcast skies. It's rained a couple of times. It's actually supposed to rain in about 10 minutes again. Right now, we are headed out to find this little local grocery store. We're kind of out in the farm area a little bit. We're at White Hill Farm, which is an old farm turned into some houses. Really nice property, beautiful home, but we're gonna go explore, see if we can find this pub and this little grocery store. So let's go. adorable little local shop. They actually had almost everything we needed. 50 something, 50 something pounds later, <laughs> we've got what we need for gifts and things. It's starting to rain, so we better get back. So we're gonna head back. It's all uphill, so uh, of course Steven's gonna carry the groceries for us. We spent the next four days recovering from jet lag and enjoying the countryside with Cece. Cece, do you need a treat? So we're headed down to our hotel in London uh, for the next two days. We get to relax, yeah. let our hair down a little bit before uh, we go to a month long house. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be great. We're excited. There's a strike today, by the way, so hopefully all the trains run like they're supposed to. It's one of those games all around the train stations. This is one of the stations where the National Rail meets with the Underground Rail which is great because you can transfer, but you have to figure out how to weave through everything. 
and a very nice German brought us to a lift. He said Stephen would have to carry the bags up or down 60 stairs, so he walked us over here. Didn't even work here. Very nice. when they're IHG downtown. But for the points, we can't help it because we're not spending $350 a night. So, this is it. But we're gonna, what is that? Oh, it's the AC, I thought it was in here. Um, we are going to just drop off our luggage and head straight to the pub. So, bye. With curry fries. I think this is the cheese. That's food porn if ever there was. This is the kebab. Oh, what a time. So it's been a few days, and um, it's all because I had my phone still. We came down to London to have a great time in the Hammersmith location, and on the first night, we were at a pub, having a few drinks, and someone stole my phone from the table. And it had my ID, my driver's license, and my two of my credit cards, which they immediately went to the grocery store to start spending on. It's been hard uh, trying to get everything back. We've had to get it all replaced. Um, luckily, I had an iPhone 14 with Apple Care Plus. I filed the insurance claim and they immediately approved it. Now we're just waiting for them to send it to Elaine's parents so that we can get it sent over here to us. But American Express needs me to go down to the embassy to get a piece of paper notarized that says that I am who I am. Without an ID and with Elaine's phone as a camera, I'm coming down here to try to get this thing done. It's just been Hard to keep a smile on your face, but you gotta realize that it's okay to have fun, but protect yourself. So, head down here to the embassy, and uh, we'll go from there. 50 bucks, and 15 minutes later, we got a stamp. We don't like to let these things uh, dampen in our mood. We took time, we processed it. Now we're back up. Just a lesson. We say all the time how lucky we are to be able to travel the world. And in that, we have to realize that there's people who want to take things from you, you know? So it just taught us to be stronger, to watch out more, be safer. And uh, we thought we should tell you because even though you're having a good time, it doesn't mean someone's not watching you, waiting to take your stuff. We're going to keep a smile on our face. We're going to keep going. We're not going to let this tear us down because we want to see this big old planet and we're not going to let one or two people stop us. We're back to seeing the world.